cables are used to carry electrical currents from plug sockets to appliances. The cables we use might look like this. One end will be connected to a plug socket, which will supply an alternating current from the mains or national grid. We wrap the cable with insulating plastic to stop people handling it from being electrocuted. Then, inside, the cable contains three wires with specific purposes. For your exams, you'll need to be able to recall the names of these wires and the colour coding we use for them. The brown wire is the live wire. The blue wire is the neutral wire. And the green and yellow striped wire is the earth wire. We'll learn more about this earth wire elsewhere. But what are the functions of the live and neutral wires? Well, the live wire carries an alternating potential difference from the supply. Let's suppose we're trying to connect the AC mains, represented by this wavy line, to this lamp. We do so using a cable with a live wire that will connect the two. This wire will carry a current from the mains to the lamp with a high alternating potential difference. Then the neutral wire completes the circuit to the appliance. Remember that a current can only flow when we've formed a complete circuit. So we need a neutral wire to complete the loop. Though there's a current in this wire, it will have a much lower potential difference than the live wire. Also remember that since the mains provides an alternating current, the currents in both wires will be constantly changing direction. So that's what wires we find in a cable. But how does this relate to a plug? Well, each wire in the cable corresponds to a prong in a plug, where the prongs are the metal teeth on a plug that will connect with the conductors in a plug socket. You can see how the wires are arranged by removing the casing on the back of the plug, though obviously make sure it's not connected to anything when you do. The wires will be arranged in the same way in all British plugs. We have the neutral wire on the left, and then the live wire on the right. The current from the live wire also has to pass through a fuse before reaching its prong. And lastly, the top wire is the earth wire. Though all plugs have this wire, some types of plugs only have two prongs, as their earth wires instead connect to a separate conductor on their casing. For your exams, you'll need to be able to identify which wire is which from an image like this one. So make sure you can recognise the colours and arrangement of these. But what is a fuse? And why do we need to include one in the plug? A fuse will break a circuit when the current becomes too large. So the fuse contains a very thin wire which will melt at high currents. This means that the circuit is broken and stops these large dangerous currents. We use fuses in plugs to cut off the live wire when its current becomes too large but we can also connect them directly in circuits. You'll need to be able to recognise the circuit symbol for a fuse, which looks like a resistor with a line through it. Thanks for watching. If you want to take your GCSE revision to the next level, head over to launchpadlearning.com and check out our smart learning platform that's been designed to get you top results in your exams. We cover your whole specification and make revision fun with interactive quizzes, easy to follow videos and more. You'll be kept motivated by your own AI tutor who's here to support you every step of the way. To check it out for yourself, click here. Or click here to keep watching a selection of the videos from our full GCSE physics course. See you there.